ladies and gentlemen, the 2017 VCW Liberty Lottery rolls on. I am Blake Chadwick, now joined by Timmy Danger at the broadcast location. And Timmy, what an opportune time to sit here at the broadcast booth because it's the championship match of the evening. That's right, Shanna Moore taking on Brandon Scott. And you know as well as I do, Brandon Scott's held this title a long time. I'm thinking this might be the night when we see a new champion. Brandon Scott, 19 months in county as the VCW Heavyweight Champion. Of course, he won that title back in December of 2015 from Damian Wayne at the Lutz Memorial Cup. He is second all time in terms of his championship reign behind only dirty money as he looks to inch ever so closer to him. Shan Moore back in June knocked off just not only just Rex Sterling, but also Diamond Victor Griff as well in a triple threat match for the number one contendership. He is your official number one contender here tonight. Well, there's no question that his reign has been impressive. All those great names on the list you've mentioned, tremendous. However, Shanna Moore's got something to prove here tonight. Hey, see, I've been in the ring, you haven't. I've been a champion, you haven't. So I know what it means to be on both sides of that, and I see something here in Shanna Moore tonight where he may see a new champion. Now, if he is a new champion, I win the Liberty Lottery and beat him. Different story. And Timmy Danger, you will have your chance at one of four titles coming up in our main event. If you are successful in becoming the 11th annual winner, the 11th winner rather, of our Liberty Lottery event. As the winner again gets a title shot at any championship See, of his choosing in the next title. calendar year. When I win, when I, I might cash in tonight. I might throw everyone out one by one if I want the shot now. We have yet to see it in a VCW ring. On the night of the Liberty Lottery, someone cashing in and be successful. As we look at the 2015 winner of this event, who did cash in right after the Lutz Cup. Now one thing, uh, Shanna Moore here has this advantage. As Brandon he's got an enforcer at ringside who may be able to even the score with Jerry Snare's thesis here. As Jerry Stefanitsis once again accompanying out Brandon Scott and Timmy. As long as you've been here, as long as you've been following VCW, Jerry Stefanitsis a constant X Factor. No question about it. Jerry Stefanitsis always plays the X Factor at ringside. What role will he play tonight is the question in everyone's minds here. As Lindsay Snow and Jerry Stefanitsis exchange a few glances. You wonder if they may come to blows at some point tonight. Well, my money's on her in that one. She looks pretty tough. She certainly is tough. A Brazilian jiu-jitsu background. Well, that's one thing Jerry Stephanesis does not have. Now let's head back to the ring. Our ring announcer, Brandon Matheny, to set the table for this heavyweight title match. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one call with a 60-minute time limit. And it is for the VCW Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first the challenger, standing in the corner to my left. He hails from Cameron, North Carolina, and weighing in at 185 pounds. He is accompanied to the ring by Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion, Lindsey Stowe. He is a former WCW Hardcore Champion. WWE and TNA Superstar, The Reject, Shannon Moore! Prize in the state of Virginia being held high. As 
Cause this one is ready to blow. Bell sounds, we are underway. VCW Heavyweight Championship on the line. Brandon Scott defending against Shannon Moore. Senior official Ron Mills assigned to this contest. Our final match before the Liberty Lottery. No question about it. Brandon Scott does look ready to go here. And as I mentioned earlier, Lindsay Snow really is a smart strategy by Shannon Moore. Bringing up counterbalance to Jerry Stephanisis at ringside. And listen to this crowd. Sounds like 100% behind the reject as Shannon Moore has had a career resurgence over the last couple of years after kind of going by the wayside a little bit, not competing as actively as he had in the past. Really ramping things up a bit over the last couple of years. And you can see ever since joining up with Lindsey Snow, a whole new edge to him. And the reject looking for his first taste of VCW gold here tonight. Definitely. Definitely a more dangerous, tougher edge than we've seen on Shannon Moore in the past. I've followed Shannon Moore's career for many years. This is a definite, new and improved, tough Shannon Moore that we haven't seen the likes of before. Brandon Scott, however, if you notice, playing a little bit of mind games here. Very smart strategy. And we saw a similar strategy last time he was out. But our final stop on the road to the Liberty Lottery is he defended that championship against the monster Asafi. And Brandon Scott was very reluctant to get inside that squared circle. And it seems like the last few times he's defended that title, whether it be against Asafi, whether we're talking Billy Gunn, even all the way back to Carlito, Brandon Scott seemingly having more and more help from Jerry Stephanitis as each match goes by. Well, that's what a manager's there for, see? That's why I got Neil Shark at ringside for me. You gotta protect the investment. You gotta make sure Vincent walks away with the W. And that's what Jerry's very good at here. Neil Shark, he does call himself the manager of champions. Maybe in just a few short months, or even in your case, Timmy, if it's up to you, a few short hours, could be out walking out of here with more championship gold as Shannon Moore looks at his collection here against Brandon Scott. As you have to think, regardless of what's happening right now, Brandon Scott has to be thinking about the Liberty Lottery match because he knows the winner of that probably will be going right after him. No question about that, and that's what I intend to do. However, look at Brandon Scott here, still playing the mind games, keeping himself at a distance from Shannon Moore, trying to psych him out. Very smart strategy by the champion. It took a series of chair shots, the VCW heavyweight title right between the eyes, and then the subsequent Scott Buster to dispatch Asafi back in June. Here we are in July, and Shannon Moore, once again at that event, not only got by the man he was supposed to take on in Rex Sterling, but the added diamond Victor Grip. Shannon Moore is able to overcome the odds at any moment's notice. So if it's Jerry Stephanitis, whoever it might be, he's ready for the attack. Well, definitely. I've been in the ring with Asafi, and Asafi is no slouch. Definitely one of the toughest competitors. What a crack by Shannon Moore. Definitely one of the toughest competitors I've ever been in the ring with. To leave with a W from Asafi is nothing to sneeze at and proving why Brent Scott is the champion. Scott on the outside right now, conferencing with Jerry Stephanitis, and you notice they're pointing right to the entrance ramp. Lindsey Snow, as they're asking for the microphone, we're in the middle of the match, get back in the ring! Well, he's got to get some stuff off his chest, he got a lot on his mind here. Jerry in his corner. This is going to be Brandon 
Scott tonight, I can feel it. And Brandon Scott, when I win the lottery, business is business here. I'm going to take the title later. But that's my, my two cents. Well, regardless of what you think of Jerry Stefanitsis and Brandon Scott, the tie has just swung right back to their favor. As Lindsey Snow is set to the back, and even though he's not an active competitor, Jerry Stefanitsis on the outside clearly makes this the champion's advantage. No question about it. And for the crowd here, definitely behind Shannon Moore, what's good that going to do you? You got Jerry Stefanitsis. You don't need these fans. You got Jerry. And after Lindsey Snow being set to the back, this crowd showing even more support for the challenger. Shannon Moore going after Jerry. That's uncalled for. That's uncalled for. Don't you agree? Well, it's well within the rules. As Shannon Moore looks like he's ready to go right now. And once again, Brandon Scott slithers to the outside. Brandon Scott playing those mind games. Staying right over him with the advantage, the mental advantage that he has. That's why he's been champion for so long. We know Brandon Scott has the ability to go at it with the best of them. No question about that. You mentioned it earlier. You even said the names he's beaten. And tonight, Shadow Moore may very well be on that list. Look at that. Right, and Scott takes him right down. Off the ropes goes Mr. Excellence. And the high hip lock takeover by Shannon Moore. One more time as he is launching Brandon Scott right across that ring. Deep arm drag takedown. And a drop kick right to the kisser. That sends Mr. Excellence crashing to the mat. Inverted atomic drop here by Shannon Moore. And that knife edge shot takes the champion right off of his feet. Now Brandon's got to leave the ring and recover. He's got to recoup here. He's got to get his, his bearings together because Shannon Moore is just showed what he can do in that ring. And Timmy, as an active competitor, I have to ask, if you're Shannon Moore, are you making a mistake right now? Not capitalizing on Brandon Scott, but hold the phone. Here we go. Tope Suicide on the outside. He sends Mr. Excellence right to the guardrail. And the reject is standing tall right now. Well, you said that yourself. He took advantage of Brandon Scott's situation. And we see Shannon Moore standing tall right now. But how long will he be standing tall is the question. It looked like he might have been making a mistake not continuing the attack. But he ends up connecting with that Tope Suicida. As you see, Jerry Stephanie is running all around the ringside area, completely afraid of the challenger. I don't think he's afraid. I think he's just picking and choosing playing. Oh! Oh, come on! Blatant DQ with that water bottle. Blatant DQ. Shan Moore takes out the champion. Referee Ron Mills utilizing his discretion to not call for the bell. Timmy, that very well could have been a DQ. Well, it should have. Have this guy suspended. Let's get let's get a better referee out there. This is and that's Shannon Moore's first pinfall attempt of the night. Only gets a one. Well, that's going to show you to take more than bending the rules to be the champion. Shannon Moore should know better. The reject is in firm control right now. As he's lighting up Brandon Scott here with a series of right hands. And Brandon Matheny in the introduction touched on it a bit. But Shannon Moore, WCW, ECW, WWE, TNA. He's been in every major organization there is. And right now creates a little bit of separation right there. He goes up top. And there's that moonsault press. That halo corkscrew moonsault too. And a near fall right there for Shannon Moore. Shannon Moore's giving him everything he got. And Brandon Scott keeps coming at him. Keeps kicking out. Keeps showing why he's the champ. And here's the thing. You mentioned it earlier. Shannon Moore. WCW. WWE. TNA. You name it. He's been there. But has he lost a step here as he cannot take advantage of a fallen Brandon Scott? Former tag team champion, former cruiserweight champion, Shan Moore, a very accomplished competitor, but looking for his first taste of VCW gold as Brandon Scott snatches the challenger right off of the top rope. Devastating. You can tell Brandon Scott's definitely got Shan Moore well scouted. And now the Robbinsdale, Minnesota resident is back in control, driving that boot right into the throat of the challenger. And take a look at Jerry Stepanitz's face. He has to be very pleased with how his plan is unfolding in front of our eyes. No question about it. See, I, I, I've been known to manage a little bit in my day. I know that look Jerry has. That's a look of my investment here press. is pursued. That's what that look is up. And Jerry, such a wise, smart manager, knows exactly that his investment is where it needs to be. 
as Brandon Scott continues to keep Shannon Moore grounded. And that's a sound strategy by Brandon Scott. Shannon Moore, even though he's later in his career, still known as a high flyer. And Brandon Scott, if he can keep this a map-based attack, that would probably yield to the side of the champion. Challenger, as you do not want to give Shannon Moore an inch, 
he will take a mile. Brent Scott, he's got Shannon Moore in the high rent district now in the top ropes. Could this be a devastating superplex off the top? Looks to be a superplex on its way. We know when Brent Scott normally goes up top, he's setting his opponents up for the Scott Buster. But Shannon Moore pushes him right off. And now Moore could be setting up Scott for that orgasm. If he gets it, it's over. No, it's a crossbody. And Brandon Scott is down. Both men are down. This could be a double knockout. 45 minutes remaining. The champion is down. The challenger is down. The VCW championship hanging in the balance here at the 11th Annual Liberty Lottery. But Jerry's still standing. You still have Jerry on the outside. You don't know what's up his sleep. And again, he is the next factor with Lindsey Snow set to the back. When will Jerry Stephanitsis insert himself? Because I do not recall a Brandon Scott title match where Jerry has not been involved. And, he, and that's why he's remained champion this long. Jerry, a great manager. Like I said earlier, protects his investment. It looks like Shannon Moore here is the first one to his feet. Indeed he is. Could he be setting him up here? There's a clothesline. He catches the champion. And there's a back elbow to Rhodes Brandon Scott. And the champion sent reeling into the corner. Brandon Scott's on Dream Street now. Here we go. Irish whip reverses Shannon Moore in the corner. Sticks the boots up. Moore. He's going back up top. Could be the Halo corkscrew one more time. And he nails it. There it goes. One, two. Wait a minute. Stephanie just in the ring. Right in front of Ron Mills. Excellent. Right the belt. Keep the belt on Brandon Scott. Great strategy. Great, great idea. Ron Mills saw it. I know it. 
as Brandon slides the title into the ring. What the hell is this about? Ron Mills picks up the title. Oh, wait, no. no wait, what the hell? Superstation. I guess you could say that. As Brandon Scott will be walking out of the Masonic Temple by hook or by crook, still the BCW champ. As he attempted to use Jerry Stephanitis to no avail. He attempted to use the championship title to no avail. He tried to use the chair, and it ended up being the low blow that did Shannon Moore in. Hats off to both competitors for about a heck of a fight, both of them. Shannon Moore gave, him, gave Brandon Scott everything he had, and Brandon Scott in the return did the same. But Brandon Scott just narrowly escapes here with the title and the victory. Shannon Moore left it all in the ring. Will he be back for a third time in VCW? I have to think after his first two performances, we will see Shannon Moore back here very, very soon.